All right, so we'll make this an official welcome to everybody. Again, we're going to spend just a little bit of time today talking about what we're trying to create with the, what we call the BYU Idaho Mighty Oaks Network. I'll go ahead and share my screen. Justin and Jose, feel free to chime in anytime. Um, so make sure that you guys can see this. Get my mouse working. So first of all, I'd like to thank you guys for spending half an hour with us. We're doing two sessions, one, both the same. Uh, one, we're trying to do it at people's lunchtime. Um, and so we're doing one now and then one at uh, noon our time, which would be um, better for the, the, the central time zone. So I've got to find out. I'm going to open up a chat window so I can see if you guys want to chat while, while we're going along. So this is what we're trying to do with um, the BYU Idaho Alumni Network. We're calling it hey, the hey, Steve? Network. Yeah. So I don't know if it's just my computer that's not updating, but it, it still shows the PowerPoint, like with yeah, all the slides and editing. Oh, okay. Hold on. I can thank you for catching that. Let me stop that share, and I will now go to the share, which should hopefully be screen two, which is this one. Is that better? Yeah. All right. Perfect. All right. Thank you. All right. So our goal with BYU-Idaho alumni and the Career Center is to have our alumni be in positions where they can help our students as role models, and especially with the area of securing lifelong learning and employment. And so the way we are hoping to do this is what we call the alumni funnel. And it really starts with all of our alumni, which we have almost a quarter of a million alumni, and helping them be a connected to the university, but find those who are in a position to help with our efforts. And we have an initiative on campus called Power to Become. I don't know if any of you have been to Power to Become or followed it. It's a conference we hold on campus every year. We're going to do a smaller one this summer, a little uh, what we call Ignite Your Career event. And then we're also going to do some regional ones. But the whole goal is to have our students see our alumni in positions where they can help. Uh, and then students saying, oh, I could work at Microsoft like Carlos Carrasco, or I can go to Wall Street like Christopher Galbraith, or help with a nonprofit like Amy Antonelli, and, and the different roles that you guys are in. We want to have our students say, well, they did it. I can also do that as well. And Power to Become, where it used to be just an annual event, it's now that also, but we're going to do regional events. We've had our first one we'll talk about in a minute. Uh, we do some podcasts. When you come to our new career center, if you're on campus, uh, you see alumni everywhere. And the BYU-Idaho Magazine was just, you probably all got in your mailbox hopefully last week, uh, where it's going to feature some of our alumni as well. And so this is our alumni base right now, just under 250,000 alumni, 150,000 graduates. Our goal is to keep track of our alumni so we can kind of stay in touch. And we do that primarily through the magazine, a monthly new monthly email. And then on campus, we have what we call the Become Mighty Challenge, where students come to our center, the Power to Become Efforts. Uh, we're gonna go through this pretty quick because I know your time's important. And then we wanna have some time for questions. We also have a presence on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on Twitter, and Instagram. But we have what we call this network activation zone, where we want other than, more than our students just knowing what they can do, we want them to actually be involved in the same with our alumni. And we do that thing, do that through things like career fairs. The bottom right picture that you see is our new career center, uh, where we have what we call a career marketplace about seven or eight times a semester. Uh, we have, we'll probably once again do a, a big career fair where alumni and our students engage with each other. We have information sessions uh, where alumni come, not all, not just alumni, but employers come to campus and talk to our students. Power to Become is a big event. And we'll talk more about ways that our alumni can help. The first level, the next level we call loyalty. And this is where our alumni can participate as mentors to our current students. The tool is BYUI Connect, uh, and we'll show you how to get to there in a minute. But BYUI Connect is a tool that all of CES uses. There's the BYU Network, the BYU Idaho Network, the Enzyme College Network, the BYU Hawaii Ohana Network. They have a fancy name with theirs. 
But students can get on and connect with alumni from BYU or any of the other CES schools. And anybody within CES can also mentor our current students. Right now on BYU I Connect, we have just 11,000 plus students and just under 10,000, approaching 10,000. I'm backwards on that. We have over 11,000 alumni on BYU I Connect and approaching 10,000 students on BYU I Connect. And then the next level is what we call the Mighty Oaks Network. And the Mighty Oaks Network is, hang on, we've got to add some people, sorry. I need to pay attention to that. Hang on one second. Anyway, the Mighty Oaks Network is a resource where our students can uh, be benefited from our alumni. And let me get to that again. Hang on one second. So our BYU Auto Professionals, right now we have just about 11,833 professionals. And their role within our network is to do these things. All of our alumni in the network represent BYU Idaho within their company. And we invite all of them to mentor students on BYU I Connect. The other five areas are areas where volunteer alumni opt in. So when you've signed up to be part of the BYU at Home Idaho Network, you said, I could help with expeditions or career fairs or virtual visits. I could help uh, review professional documents, resumes, cover letters. And a new one is we are hoping that our alumni can help encourage students to come. Um, the enrollment at BYU-Idaho has been growing for years. We've actually had a dip a little bit the last couple of years. Yet we have great capacity and we want to encourage more kids to come. So just to make this as simple as we can, every BYU-Idaho professional, everybody that's on this, on this meeting has access to the alumni staff, which is myself, Ben Watson, and Rob Aronson, and Kathy Godfrey. But they also have access to Justin Hodges, who represents the Southwest. We'll show you a map here in just a second, Justin will. And then you have access to somebody with that represents the college you came from. So in this example, Mike Ross, who works in Houston, came out of our business and communications finance area, has access to Mark Willis, who represents the College of Business and Communication. So Mike, if he has an opportunity, uh, knows of an internship or a full-time position, we would hope that he would consider letting BYU-Idaho know about those opportunities. We can post it on BYUI Connect, we can share it on our LinkedIn group, and we can post it on Handshake. So here's our team. Justin, I'll let you take over for a second uh, to talk about um, our career and employment managers and our regional model. Okay, great, thank you. And uh, thank you to each one of you for taking the time out of, uh, I'm sure, what are busy schedules to join us for a few minutes today. Uh, so I'm on today just representing uh, the career and employment managers. As you can see, you can see a couple of them there. There's five of us, and we're kind of divided up by colleges. So each one of us will uh, report to a manager here in the career center but then we also report to the dean of the colleges so that uh, we can work uh, more closely with those faculty and understanding their needs and, and how we can work together to uh, make sure our students are having and finding internship and career opportunities. And that uh, career readiness is on the forefront of the minds of faculty uh, when they're teaching in the classroom. Uh, we want career readiness to be really embedded into the academic curriculum of every student on campus. Uh, so it's not just something that they think about when they're a semester away from graduation, but they're taking steps throughout their educational experience to prepare themselves for employment opportunities when they leave the university. So if you go to the next slide, Steve, it'll just show the, the others of us that are here on that team. So there's the rest again, five of us divided up by college. And then the next slide kind of, we've also divided up by regions. And so each one of us has been assigned a region and our responsibilities there are to work with the alumni that are in these areas, to work with the employers in these areas 
and really have a pulse of, of what's the economic climate, what opportunities are available to our students, what employers are there, and are we engaging with those employers, uh, you know, with job postings, with expeditions, uh, with providing opportunities for those employers to connect and meet with our students. And, and so that's how we're kind of divided up and the focus that we're, we're engaged with. So thank you. Okay, thanks, Justin. So this will show you kind of where we at, are with the network right now. We have 1,183 members of the Mighty Oaks Network. Um, of that group, 436 said they'd help with career fairs. Now, we'll talk about each of these here in just a second. 821 with virtual visits, 430 with expeditions, admissions 244, and job market readiness 335. Um, right now, 44% of our 1183 are on BYUI Connect. We hope all of you, if you're not on BYUI Connect, will, will join that at some point. It's just a really good online tool to connect with our students and other alumni. And so I want to talk about each of these different roles briefly. So everybody that's on our network, we hope that they represent BYU-Idaho within their company. Uh, if you're, you know, we have lots of different companies on this call today. Just be our, we send everybody who's part of the network a pennant uh, that you can hang up in your office. And once a year, you're invited to buy, and, and we've sent links out uh, to buy a BYU Idaho shirt, polo shirt, or a dress shirt, or a, a, a satchel that you can carry to work uh, just to, to kind of rep BYU Idaho. But just be our eyes and ears within the company. And we're open to good news and bad news. If, if we need to know things that we can do better, we're, we're open to that as well. The next area that we hope our alumni help with is being on BYUI Connect. And here's the, the URL. Uh, the company behind that is called People Grove. So ces.peoplegrove.com. You can sign in two ways. Uh, one way you can sign in with your BYU Idaho username and password. Uh, some of you have long lost that or forgotten it. We can help you find that. A simpler way is just sign in with a, a LinkedIn option where you can sign in and your LinkedIn different your LinkedIn information will be transferred uh, over to BYUI Connect. By the way, feel free to chime in if you have any questions. And I'm going to make sure I have I've lost my chat window, so I'll bring that back up. Okay. All right. So uh, the next one is expeditions. Expeditions. We had a multi-year hiatus. Uh, from expeditions because of COVID. We're back to doing them again. Um, Justin just recently took a group of students to Dallas, uh, Fort Worth area. But this is an opportunity where we will take a group of students out to your areas and visit your companies. Uh, the second thing that we have our, our alumni doing is helping with career fairs. And we have three different kinds of career fairs. The, the one that's typical is on campus. Uh, hosted here in our career center, at times a big one over in the eye center. We've experimented this recently with a regional power to become in the Boston area. And then we've had some virtual career fairs. And alumni can help with any of any of those areas as well. Virtual visits, uh, that's where one of the bigger areas that our alumni would like to help with. That's where we would get our alumni in front of our students virtually and sometimes in person. Uh, but most often it's virtual where, you know, you're visiting with a class, an academic society. Uh, we have an events uh, a few times a semester here in our center called Lunch and Learns. Um, and we just, and we're doing a host ways on this call with us. Uh, one of host ways jobs as one of our lead students is to be with our academic societies and find out in our classes when it would be great to have you spend a few minutes with our students. Job market readiness is another one. It's just where at times, and this is brand new, where you might be asked to look at a student's resume and it's particularly in your area of expertise or their cover letter or to help with an interview prep, those kinds of things. And admissions support is another one that uh, we really need and would love to have our, our advocates, you encourage students to consider coming to BYU-Idaho. The admissions area is nested in our main area uh, with alumni 
employee relations and the admissions office all work together. So here's just a couple of success stories. Um, and we, we hope this, and some of this is probably already happening in, in your areas within your companies. Alicia Stratton graduated from BYU-Idaho in 2008. Uh, she joined BYU I Connect sometime after that. Uh, she worked really closely with Justin, uh, being from at that time Texas, uh, working for USAA. And with Justin's help, she came back to campus multiple times. She spoke at Power to Become. She spoke at Women in STEM. She's been to, I don't know, a dozen career fairs. And when she joined USAA in 2008, she was one of seven BYU Idaho alumni working for the company. Now in 2023, there's 107 uh, of our alumni working at USAA. Uh, another example with Justin. Justin um, worked with uh, some service missionaries we have in some, in some key cities. Met Michael Zimmerman, who worked at Toyota North America. And I think the initial message that Justin got from Michael is, well, you can come visit, but we, you may not have a lot of luck. Uh, but then we got Scott Caldwell um, hired on at Toyota North America. He went in and made great work. And now at Toyota North America, we have 37 employees, and we are one of their top five campuses to recruit from. Uh, they come often. Justin, you want to chime in on this? Maybe just tell us a little bit about that. Or Yeah, you, you covered it pretty well. But this, yeah, this was just a great success story. Uh, the first visit was kind of a cold call and, uh, Toyota was very cordial, but, uh, didn't think we'd ever be on their radar. Uh, but, uh, you know, you get a couple students in there and, and those students did great and Toyota wanted to find out how to get more. So, and I'm sure a lot of you have similar stories where maybe you were the first one hired into that company and the company loved what you did and who you were and what you represented and wanted to find out how, how to get more just like you. And, and so that's what we hope happens over and over again is, is that we can uh, start to build these connections and have these employers either through you or with help from you engage with the university and re recruiting opportunities. Okay, thanks, Justin. Uh, here's another little story, uh, Mark Willis, and this is how we work together in the Career Center. Mark Willis decided, let's go see how we're doing in Kansas City, Missouri. So he scheduled a trip last July 31st through August 3rd. He came to me and he said, how many of the Mighty Oaks Network do we have in Kansas City? And we had nine. And I, he said, let's see if we can build that. So for about a month, I reached out. We reached out through LinkedIn and BYUI Connect and just contacted alumni. I said, hey, we've got this new network we're building. We'd love to have a presence in Kansas City. By the time he got to his trip, we our network had grown from nine to over 50. And then he, they had a gathering at a stake center and went through a bunch of pizza and people brought their kids and they met with multiple companies. And we had, we had, he had such good success there that we said, as we decided to do our first regional power to become, that we would do that in Kansas City. So on, on March 23rd this year, this last month, um, we went out to Kansas City. Power to Become is an event where our alumni are in front of our students and alumni, someone who shares. So we had Bill Crawford go out and speak to our students. We had about 110 show up. We fed them dinner. We had a great speaker. We had a wonderful Q&A. And then just opportunity to network and mingle afterwards. Uh, we had people that drove from over three hours away to, to be at our event. As we move forward, we would love to be on the radar working with Justin in the Southwest. And we're not going to do a bunch of these, maybe two or three a year, but we'd love to say, let's let's do this in Dallas. Let's do this um, in Phoenix. Um, we can do it at, at different places. Um, and the last thing, and, and we'll send a link out this with an email. Um, Periodically, it would be a great blessing if you would just update your information. Uh, two things there, and we probably have your current address and phone number and email. Uh, we probably have your current job title and company name, but those change over time. But we'd also like to have an update on the areas that you'd like to help, whether it's expeditions, virtual visits, career fair, 
admissions, career, re career readiness, those kinds of things. Um, so hopefully you can at times just go ahead and update that. So thank you for joining us. We do have a few minutes for any questions. Uh, Justin, Jose, myself, any questions or comments that that we could have uh, about the university, about what we're doing? Before we, we say goodbye. And I'm looking at your chat as well, so go ahead. Hey, Stephen, yeah. Justin, uh, Andrew Gillett here from Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, sure. I work with McCarthy Building Companies. Uh, BYU has been a very reliable campus uh, for us. It's a, a great pipeline for talent, and we appreciate that relationship. As I was looking at uh, the, the BYUI Connect, there's a place to put job postings. Like McCarthy has dozens of job postings posted all the time. Is there a way to just link to our careers page so that um, applicants, or potential applicants can can just navigate and browse it themselves instead of posting individual positions? Justin, you might be best to answer that. So on, on BYUI Connect, Steve, you may have to address that. Are we utilizing the job it, it postings? Just takes, it just takes a feed from Handshake. Yeah, it takes a feed from Handshake, Andrew. So uh, I think the easiest thing for us to do probably would just have a generic posting on Handshake uh, for McCarthy and, and just say, and, you know, here's a link to your guys' job board. Uh, check it frequently because new jobs and internship opportunities are added. So we could easily do that, and that would be permanently on Handshake uh, for you. That, that, that would be perfect. I mean, we, we have yeah. a lot of positions and if and if there are alumni who are experienced professionals who are also navigating, that would that would help them find yeah. positions that aren't aren't just the new college like intern yeah. and graduate position. Yeah, great. I can go ahead and have that done then, Andrew. That is it okay if I list you as the contact though? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Okay, perfect. We'll get it done today then for you. We Thank just got you. we just got five new kids hired. That's awesome. Uh, Seth uh, makes a comment here. Seth, mm -hmm. thank you for this. USA has recruited many great candidates, and you're correct. It's over a hundred that we know of, uh, and that's great from your help and from others. We have a really good pipeline with USAA. Okay, any other questions, comments? We can address. Steve, sorry for jumping in late. <clears throat> uh, this may be a question, a entrepreneurship route, right? There's a traditional employer route um, for those interested in some form of jumping off or feedback or just being a soundboard. How can I be of help? Yeah, thanks, Colin, for that. Yeah, I think, uh, again, Justin, you can help me with this as well if I, if I, if I misspeak it. Um, our, our goal is just to use the tools we have uh, to, our, our students need to connect, Colin, if they want to be an entrepreneur with you. And, and we can do that through BYUI Connect. We can do that through just the mentoring that's happening. Um, but uh, our career center is bustling right now. There's uh, almost every day there's someone here. And it would be fantastic if we got you in front of virtually or in person uh, our students. So, Justin. Yeah, and then I would also add on, on BYUI Connect, um, I believe there's categories on there that you uh, would like to be able to mentor students on and engage them with. And I think one of those is entrepreneurial or self-employed and things. So if you click those when you're setting up your BYUI Connect, then students can search and find you based on those categories that they would like to be mentored on or have discussions. Um, so that might be one way also to uh, have students reach out to you. Okay, great, thanks. Adam asked this question, is it best to uh, work with us or the marketing department on campus for fairs expeditions, it's best to work with us? We have a fantastic team, and it would be best uh, out of the U.S. Poseway uh, has posted the My Shopify at Com. If you guys want to order a shirt or a water bottle or a, or a bag, a uh, brief little satchel. Uh, the password is alumni, lowercase. 
I was always asking that. So I'll type that in. So, and then just to, just to know on that question from Adam on who to work with, uh, if you work directly with us in the career center, then we will work with those, those uh, departments, those academic departments that you want to recruit from. Uh, that's part of our role. We just kind of want to be a one point of contact for you on campus, and then we'll engage the various academic programs that uh, you're interested in being in front of. So. Okay, so Travis is asking this question. question. Go ahead. Um, let's see. So um, I graduated back in 2018, um, and I recall a lot of the professional development things starting up and, and uh, a lot of the alumni networking things. I recall that a lot of those were more um, catered towards um, business and, and um, those kind of professional um, developments. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of representation I recall from them. And, and I'm curious if that's still the case or, or if you have any statistics on that at that might guide um, elements. So John, what was your, what's your area? I'm in uh, physics and optics. Okay, so it was STEM related, STEM related recruiting or just uh, career readiness opportunities? Is that? Uh, both. Uh, both. I just remember when I was a student, there wasn't a whole lot of um, a lot of nice sources of, of uh, STEM related fields. Yeah, yeah, so we're definitely uh, trying to build that out. And so we're glad you're on the call and hopefully we'll join BYUI Connect and, and the LinkedIn page and all of that so students uh, can engage with you. Uh, but yeah, that's, I mean, we're, we always want it and our focus, we are trying to be more focused by discipline as much as we can uh, rather than just generic offerings. Uh, but with that, we are also teaching practices uh, that we hope will be universal, uh, like uh, networking and informational interviews and those types of things that could be utilized by students regardless of what their major is and be beneficial to them. Uh, but you're right, we always want to build out, especially for some of those smaller degrees like physics and chemistry and, and things like that. We want, we want to try to enlarge that alumni pool and mentor pool as much as possible. So, so thanks for being here today and helping us out with that. So Travis asked this question about six months ago, I got promoted and students almost to be stopped reaching out. Is there a way to introduce myself so they can feel less nervous or intimidated? So thanks for that question. Um, I, I don't know if I have a really good answer because I would think once you got promoted, you'd be more sought after because you have a, it's probably a better job. Uh, our goal with that would be to just, if, first of all, make sure your information on, on our class is up to date um, and that, that you use that form. Um, and uh, really the two big avenues we are using is BYUI Connect and LinkedIn. Um, and so our job would be to get you introduced and especially if you can connect Travis, what is your, you can just chime on or tell me what is, tell me what you, it is your, where you're working, what you're doing. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, so I, I, um, I'm a plus one for a CFO of a bank in Houston, but I work out of Salt Lake city. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I came through the finance program at BYU Idaho, and awesome. um, it's kind of a traditional corporate finance and and banking role. Awesome. But yeah, I was promoted to a, a, a VP position, and students almost immediately stopped reaching out. Yeah, you you become a little bit. I can see that a little bit intimidating. Well, our job is to encourage students to to not to ignore that, right? To uh, because you'd be in an even better role probably to facilitate things like an internship or a, a job opportunity and, and an opportunity, you know, especially uh, if you wanted to do a virtual visit, you know, working through us with a, a finance class or one of our financial planning or wealth management societies, active societies, that would be awesome. Great, yeah. Okay, any other questions before we wrap up? 
All right, Justin, Hosway, thanks for joining us. And all of you, thank you. Um, we appreciate all that you do for BYU-Idaho. Uh, we're, we're learning as we build this network. We have a fantastic facility now in the Career Center. We have a really great alumni. Our job is to just get our students connecting with you and, and hopefully helping them be more prepared as they reach out and connect with you. So, all right, with that, thank you. And we hope you all have a great rest of your day.